Hey, man, welcome back. Thank you, sir. It's been a week. I had a great time at the beach, but I'm back. How are you? Well, I I'm good. You were missed. Uh, you know, we didn't really get a chance to talk about the opening weekend. And, you know, your Yankees uh, uh, you know, represented themselves nicely. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure I can say the same for my Mets. And I'm surprised you haven't even launched into, you know, the here we go again with, with my boy. We're 13 seconds in, so give me a few minutes. I, sometimes I like to beat you to it. Um, but, but, I mean, today, I mean, kind of some shocking developments in baseball. And, and it, if you think about uh, where baseball had come from with, with record attendance, and I mean TV audience, 4 million people watched Yanks Nats uh, on Thursday night. Mets Braves is, is the 10th highest you know, game uh, of baseball all time, effectively. Uh, the sports book's going crazy over all this. Um, and, and, and actually, you know, major parity, really good news because, uh, you know, 10 teams are going to make it from each league or eight teams are going to make it from each league. And, and you have this dynamic where some really cool things are happening for, for baseball. And now today we learned, uh, Marlins, uh, you know, 14 guys test positive, uh, Yanks who end up in Philly, uh, don't want to go into that visitor's lo locker room where, 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 where the Marlins were. I mean, I don't know, man, what do you think's happening? You know, it makes you wonder, and the news I'm hearing, maybe, maybe this is incorrect, but apparently uh, players, the, Marlin, uh, the Marlins as an organization knew about these positive tests over the weekend, and they took some sort of player's vote whether or not they were going to play or not. I'm hearing, I'm hearing this sort of secondhand, but if, any, if that's even remotely true, I mean, that's really problematic. So, look, I don't know if baseball – Baseball's into everything in their power not to shut down. I totally get it. Maybe the Marlins are sort of the, you know, the outlier in all of this, but the optics are, are really, really bad. You know, your, your boy Jeter, um, I, I hope he's not in the middle of this because he's been nothing but class, uh, and I can't believe he would be sanctioning anything like this. Um, and and the, the point is, what do you do uh, when 14 guys in a team – I mean, at some point a team can't not play. Uh, and the next couple days uh, are, are critical for baseball. Um, and then you've got hockey and the NBA opening up at the end of the week. I mean, think about this week for sports. And then, of course, think about this week for markets. I mean, we have every major company, Amazon, Apple, um, Facebook Google. and Google. On Thursday. Those four companies are bigger than the entire economy of Japan. Uh, you know, that's over five and a half trillion dollars and, and all reporting on Thursday. Uh, you've got a Fed meeting coming out. Uh, basically Wednesday. So in other words, it's not just a Fed week, but you have a press conference. And, and, and you know, you've got your boy Powell uh, in there. Everybody's your boy, by the way, today. Everybody's your boy. Your boy Jeter, your boy Powell. Um, and so, you know, look, it'll be very interesting to see where we end up at the end of this week, both for markets and, and, and obviously for sports. But, boy, you know, not for lack of headlines. I'm not one to speak in hyperbole, but I think this is, the, this is the most important summer week we've had in since the financial crisis I, I mean you think about everything you just put out there in terms of what the market's done in terms of major sports coming back in terms of those earnings on thursday i mean think about that those four companies all reporting on thursday is unbelievable and then just oh by the way a name like caterpillar on friday and all these oh, other by the way, PayPal, Qualcomm, you know, you name it. Um, the, 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 the leadership of this market, too, especially in, in the form of uh, a technology, really interesting coming on a week when, uh, you know, we keep talking about the, the news of today is, is the weaker dollar. So um, all of this coming around stimulus discussions and, and, you know, a war of words going on between the two sides of the aisle in D.C., and ultimately having to figure out how we're going to get to the other side of this because we are running out on benefits. We are running out in terms of where stimulus uh, is actually going to take people in phase two here. So um, pretty extraordinary. And, and I tell you, if I think about the, the names that are, that are most important here, I, I think, you know, Amazon's not going to necessarily give you a major read on, uh, on the economy, I don't think. Whereas in, in the past, it was a read on the holiday season when they gave you some weak numbers going into the 4Q last year. Um, but I, I do think when, when it comes to Apple, I think we have to ultimately get some sense from them, the strength of the consumer. And, and, and yes, so far, so good. Uh, but, but Apple is trading as if the consumer is just fine around the world and a valuation that I think is difficult. Yeah, it's interesting, though, last week while I was away, I mean, that stock, which it traded, I think, three ninety nine or though, that, I think on Thursday or maybe it was Friday, I'm not, I'm not sure what day, 
traded down to 350 and bounced in a pretty meaningful way. I mean, you had a pretty precipitous drop in a very short period of time. But to your point, it is a monster week. I mean, if you're bullish, the good news is the VIX is closed below 25 today. I think that's really encouraging. You got another round of whatever you want to call it in terms of what the government's doing for the citizens of this country. That's probably bullish on the margins. The fact that the S&P 500 is still at this 3240 level where we broke down from in early June, it's still at that level, pretty impervious to everything else. Those are all really good signs. The bad news is I think at some point this weaker dollar is problematic and rates, you know, which are now 10 years at 60 basis points, yeah. seemingly want to go lower. Again, I think you're in a point where rates going lower are no longer bullish for the broader market. So who has a better week this week uh, for the duration, Major League Baseball or Amazon? Wow. Who has a better week for the duration? From this point on, because we know it's a, it's a tough evening in baseball land. Just to play your game, because I like your game. I'll take Major League Baseball <laughs> for 500 Alex, on that front. It seems as though the, it's Marlins-specific, and they might be able to do a workaround. I don't know how it works in terms of schedule. If this was across four or five different teams, I'd be, I'd be much less optimistic. But even with that said, I mean, you see the trickle-down effect that one team can have on an entire – on the entire league. It's incredible. So you're going MLB. I, I, I hear you on that. Uh, by the way, congrats that your boy Giancarlo Stanton um, is, is actually relevant for about five minutes in a baseball season. Uh, he's certainly making all kinds of headlines, but I'll leave that alone. Can I just interject real quick? I, yeah, course, you, point, you are. You are. You're a Met, yeah. You are a Met fan. And Why again, does this get turned back on the Mets? We, we, and we again, were again, so this, right. the Yankees took two out of three in Washington. That's what you need to do. You need to win series. I heard some stat last night. Yeah, you got to win a series. Every yeah. win in a 60 game season is worth two yeah. points. Whatever. I mean, I, I've I heard that care. number. Yep. yep. That's that's what we needed to do coming out of DC. The Mets at home playing the Braves team that they can't stand. Uh, yeah. Obviously, Jake had a great outing on opening day. You should have taken game two. But you trot out this Diaz character once again, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, has given up 15, one 15 five, bombs, 15 bombs, home runs. bombs. You can't even make that up. I don't think he's going to be in, in the closer's chair. If baseball lasts this week, I don't think he's staying there. Um, curious, I, I've, I've heard that apparently the wings are kind of tasty down in Atlanta. There's, there's uh, a place to go get some wings. Yeah. You're speaking of this, this uh, gentleman, Williams, apparently, who yeah. broke protocol and went to, after a funeral, by the way. Wow. Needed to raise the spirits. And went to a strip club so to in Atlanta, and his excuse was, that's his favorite restaurant. It's preposterous. You know when Johnny Manziel endorses you uh, and, and points out the cuisine at uh, one of Atlanta's finest uh, go-go bars? How should we say? Why is Atlanta also always the place where this stuff goes down? Remember that big NBA scandal? Apparently Patrick Ewan liked to go there. I mean, remember the Super Bowl with Ray Lewis was in Atlanta. I mean, everything happens in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, as we like to say. That's a great Little Feet song. And people wax poetic about Little Feet. Uh, but, oh, Atlanta and, you know, Dixie Chicken. Then after that, I'm sold to you. You know your Southern rock because all you do is try to quote Skinner. Hot Atlanta is an Allman Brothers show. No. That, oh, Atlanta yeah. is a I, Little I, Feet If you song. listened to me, I said, oh, Atlanta is a Little Feet song. But, you know, you wanted to jump me, which I understand you want to do, having not seen me for a week. You wanted to get in my kitchen. You wanted to throw it up and in. Which, Guy, by the way, and yeah. right back to your Mets. Yes. That looked like Roy Oswald pitching for the Mets last night. Not 1990s Roy Oswald. Roy Oswald, who's probably 58 years old. My wife is saying hi, by yeah. the way. Look, uh, hi, Linda. And this Linda is probably Snow, a good time on. to park. Linda Snow I'm, just said we sound like a bunch of old men. You want to come in? No, it's funny. No, Taylor Swift just released a, a big album. T-Swizzle just dropped a new album. T uh, I got time for T Swizzle. I got time for T. I mean, she, in fact, we, she, she's a huge fan of our show. And, and I know she was talking about coming on and talking about picking some stocks. So um, I, I think with that, we might have to, 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 to wave in T Swizzle. Let's get through this week, Guy Adami. Uh, let's get Corey Oswald or Corey Feldman or Corey Haim or one of the Corys out of our, out of our starting lineup in New York. And time loves a hero. See you tomorrow. Now, hold on. Before we go, I, I, we have another minute. Is, is, is the polar bear going to get a hit this season, or is he going to go over?
We'll talk about that tomorrow. I'll see you later.